you know, demand beyond as we enter a brand new financial year very, very soon. We have with us uh, Pavitra Shankar, Managing Director at Brigade Enterprises. Pavitra, thank you for uh, joining in. So we're at a very interesting juncture, right? Let me first understand this pop that we've seen for a lot of uh, real estate companies in terms of the, the high ticket uh, value segment, uh, you know, the premium end of the luxury segment. Uh, I think everybody's trying to figure out what happens after the 1st of April when that uh, tax thrust is not there anymore. What is it that you have observed in uh, the purchases you've seen in the last couple of months? And what's the outlook, more importantly, for the new year? Hi, thanks for having me today. Um, yeah, certainly there will be some kind of impact. I think many of us who uh, are in that sector, um, uh, in the uh, uh, overall real estate sector, um, most of us are in the mid-segment and uh, upper mid-segment range. So there's across the board, there's um, very few who are really heavily exposed to the super luxury segment. And I think those are the ones who are going to really be impacted. Um, so... I think it will again uh, move towards more of like an end user market rather than anything being done for investment or speculative reasons because of the tax impact and people would have to take a much more um, sort of measured uh, approach in terms of further investment. Um, so in terms of what we are seeing, uh, there is very good demand in the mid and upper mid segment and also, um, you know, uh, between affordable and mid segment kind of price range, depending on which market you play in, uh, Bangalore is uh, is, is the mainstay for us. Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, these markets are much more affordable compared to, say, Mumbai or NCR. So we still see a lot of traction in our market. All right. Uh, uh, Pavitra, I request you just uh, hold on to that thought. We have a big recovery that's taken place in our equity markets as we speak. The Nifty has moved to the high point of the day. And as we pointed out earlier today, that the Nifty could be opening up in the green, but you'll get that dip. That intraday dip did come about. The Nifty moved into the red. And the Nifty Bank is the one now that's moving towards the 200 DMA, which is very, very crucial. Big U-turn being seen on the Nifty Bank as well. Well, uh, Pavitra, apologies for that. Just need to take stock of the markets. But you're telling us that, you know, uh, the, the mid to upper mid is doing pretty well. Could you break it up for us? How much of your sales would be mid? How much of it would be luxury? As of now, what is the mix? And geographically as well, if you could break it up. Sure. Uh, so our portfolio is heavily, um, uh, you know, 80% between the 60 to 1.2 CR range. Uh, this for Bangalore is what you would call a mid to upper mid segment. Below the 60 lakh range, there is still a lot of good demand, uh, but the um, uh, the pricing is maybe between 45 to 60 lakhs. We don't play in the fully affordable housing space as defined by our government, which is 45 lakh, uh, uh, you know, ticket size and 60 square meters um, uh, carpet area. Um, for Brigade also, of late we have seen some inventory uh, and, and again, it's a function of the projects that we're launching at that point in time. Uh, so we do have say five to 7%, a very small percentage in the above uh, one and a half crore range. So as I mentioned earlier for us, we don't have super luxury as a very big category for us. Uh, going forward, um, we do see uh, uh, one or two of our projects launching in that space. That said, again, this is not like a concerted measure uh, or a decision to go into super luxury. It is just that based on each land, we take a decision what would be the right product for that space. If there is an unmet need, we would want to uh, design accordingly to that need and put product out there. Um, going forward, also, we, we will see a lot of launches coming in from Chennai, but towards the end of the next financial year, we have done a substantial amount of land acquisition in Chennai over the past uh, financial year. So by the time the designs and approvals come in, we'll see that coming into our launch pipeline, but it would take about three to four quarters for that to come in. Um, other than that, contribution is going to be significantly from Bangalore. Uh, we are still working on Hyderabad and hopefully we'll be able to launch some projects there soon. Mm. Uh, Pavitra, hi, good morning. Uh, you know, you told us that uh, you basically have about 20 to 25 percent kind of uh, growth targets in mind annually, uh, and that uh, kind of stays on track. But I just want to understand, uh, we had uh, two uh, guests earlier on who were saying that we are uh, at the cusp or in the grips of, depending on how you want to look at it, a little bit of a slowdown overall. Uh, even the tech sector is starting to see, uh, you know, a little bit of pullback in spending uh, especially on the wage side, hiring, and actually layoffs, etc. Also, one is starting to hear about any impact at all, uh, Pavitra, as you see it. Even in the past uh, cycles, have you seen any uh, bit of pullback in terms of uh, spending from that segment? 
that is the affluent, you know, uh, sort of uh, the tech employee cohort in that sense. You know, I think we can take some learnings from the past, but post COVID, there have just been so many different shifts in consumer behavior entirely that it would be difficult to just say, well, the past is going to repeat itself. While history does, you know, it may not repeat, but it certainly rhymes. So I think when there is some kind of um, turbulence in the global economy, there is some impact on sentiment here in India. But what we see on the ground in terms of leasing, in terms of act, uh, in terms of interest from customers on the ground, and we have had a very active quarter in terms of launches. There is no real holding back in terms of wanting to go ahead and um, you know get into a new uh, investment for home, whether it is end use or you know they plan to keep it as an investment. So at least in all of our projects, we haven't seen really any kind of pullback. Of course, customers are keeping an eye out on what might be the home loan rate. They have come back to the 9% range. Uh, but previously in, in FY19, FY20, that was kind of the level of uh, home loan interest rates at that point too. So we, I mean, I think we are sort of looking at um, a huge unmet need for uh, people moving into different kinds of spaces. I think that is what has really been uh, the, the impact of the pandemic and you know, a lot of work from home and um, reevaluating people's need for space. So as a result, I think that has caused a lot of churn in the market and that's why people are looking out. Uh, a lot of the momentum created post the pandemic also is continuing. And I think that sort of fueled the residential real estate sector at least to get fully into the upcycle that that is due for over five to six years, I would say. Okay, Pavitra, so that, that's interesting. I mean, from what you say, it appears that... Uh, at least your clientele has digested higher rates, interest rates uh, fairly well, as long as there's visibility on, uh, of course, the uh, job profile, and we really hope that remains. Our colleague uh, Rima was pointing out that uh, further hiring trends in the IT sector seem to be moderating. But anyway, uh, before we let you go, could you leave us with some numbers and outlook perhaps on uh, you know, the launch activity that you anticipate over the next few quarters, uh, perhaps volumes or bookings for FY24? Yeah, so our launches are sort of, you know, based on approvals coming in. We've had a very good launch quarter. Um, we're just wrapping up the quarter, so I'm not able to give any, um, you know, concrete numbers. But we've had a good quarter, a very good quarter. And uh, I think the launches that we have will also hold us in good stead for the next couple of quarters as well. As I mentioned, we are working on a number of new launches coming up for the next financial year. Uh, a lot of it is based in Chennai, and that will come in through the second uh, half of the year. Um, overall, I think uh, we've also taken up prices across our portfolio and we're seeing good support for that from uh, customers as well. I think all of this points to a pretty healthy um, environment for the real estate sector. There will, of course, be competition and, you know, it's, it's a constant sort of um, a push and pull that is happening in our industry. So I think those companies that can um, have a very measured approach to uh, acquiring new land through internal accruals and not necessarily by taking debt, uh, I think that's a safe way to approach um, what what could be, you know, tailwinds, uh, sorry, headwinds for the sector. Uh, but at the same time, I think there's enough demand uh, from customers and enough supply from good developers to actually see a very positive trend in the coming financial year. Okay, all right. Sounds good, Pavitra. Thanks uh, very much for joining in and uh, uh, wish you all the best for those plans going ahead. So that's an optimistic view coming in from 